Hey y'all, welcome to Doris Garden once again. And if this is your first time, welcome. Hey guys, I hope all is well. In today's video, I'm going to give you a few tips on how to keep your locks healthy while swimming. I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube and so I definitely wanna add a few pointers from my experience and the things that have worked out for me. So if you're interested in how to keep your locks healthy, how to keep them moisturized, how to avoid breakage, avoid damage while swimming, please keep on watching. So many of you know, many of you don't know, I love to swim. I've been swimming since I was a little girl. I used to swim competitively and I also used to do synchronized swimming. So swimming is like my other half. I feel like a mermaid when I'm in the water. I feel like I am aqua woman. I just love the water. I'm a freaking fish. Call me a fish if you want to, but your girl loves to swim. The first tip that I can give to you is to protect your locks. How do you protect your locks? Well, the first thing you can do is make sure that your hair is moisturized before you decide to go swimming. What I like to do is to make sure that I mist my hair with Doris Garden products. Okay, this is the Hibiscus Hydrating Mist in Rose. Please excuse the label. But this right here, I just love to just give my hair a quick boost. I do this in the morning and at night. So this is nothing new for me. Whatever you use, go ahead and mist your hair. Like some people like to seal in that moisture by using an oil down the length of their locks. I don't personally use oil down the length of my locks, but if you do, then by all means, go right ahead. Make sure that the length of your locks are moisturized and sealed if you're somebody who likes to use oil. Once you do that, when you head onto the pool, the next very important step in protecting your locks is wearing a swim cap. Now, I don't swim for this team. I actually got this from the lost and found at the pool. The girl hasn't purchased a large swim cap. Now, I tried to use this. It really doesn't do me well like this is just a regular size cap so if i were you i would go online on amazon and find you a large swim cap specifically silicone as you can see this is shiny it's more comfortable it has more elasticity and i'll leave a picture right here on the screen for you so just to give you some general ideas of what swim caps will be perfect for you so the longer your hair the thicker your hair is the larger the swim cap, honestly. You don't want it too big, but you want it big enough where you can stuff all your hair into the swim cap. Now, let's just say you don't have a swim cap. I've done that a couple times. Just know that by you swimming without a swim cap, you will have to take a couple of extra steps to making sure that all of the chlorine is rinsed out of your hair. But if you moisturize it, before you put the swim cap, you kind of protect yourself either way. So yeah, that is tip number one, making sure that you protect your lock. Now on to tip number two, when it comes to shampooing your hair. I tried two different ways and I'm gonna tell you this, the best way that worked for me is making sure that you get a clarifying shampoo. I use the Swab Daily Clarifying Shampoo and I put it in this, bottle this is carol's daughter i used it up but i love this bottle because of the nozzle it's very precise and it's secure so when you twist it tightly when you put it in your bag you don't have to worry about leakage so find you a clarifying shampoo and dilute it this is where i went wrong what i was doing was i actually was just opening up pouring the shampoo in my hair and just placing it and just trying to create that suds but it was not working for me. And the reason why is because you want to make sure that before you even place the shampoo on your hair, that it needs to be drenched with water. Your hair needs to be soaking wet. Let your hair run under the water for at least a couple of minutes. Rotating your head, flipping your hair back and forth, squeezing your locks, you know, making sure that all of your locks are saturated with water first. Then, by it being diluted with water, it lathers on a lot easier versus just putting the shampoo directly on your hair and trying to create that suds. And I found myself shampooing my hair two to three times versus one good wash. 
with diluted shampoo. Ditch grabbing the shampoo and just slapping it on your locks. No, because you're gonna end up washing your hair two, three times before you get a really good lather. And by that time, your hair will be straight. For people who want a specific shampoo to remove the chlorine, they do have that. And I'll leave a list right here showing you the different brands or the top brands that are recommended for removing chlorine. If you're somebody who feels like a clarifying shampoo is not enough and you need a shampoo specifically for removing chlorine, you have options. So yes. Oh, number three is rinsing well. You also want to spend at least five minutes rinsing the shampoo out. Rinse longer than you're actually shampooing, honestly. That is the key. Last but not least, I'll get my moisturizing spray. <laughs> get this and I'll just mist making sure I'm misting everywhere and I like this bottle because it's a mist and after that I take my nourishing elixir look I need to get some more I need to refill this bottle and I go in only on my roots and I just Distribute the oil. See, if you warm up the oil, you are essentially giving yourself a hot oil treatment. So that is an option too. Just wait until you get home and warm up your oil of choice and then apply it to your scalp. Look, I'm almost done. I like to take a little bit and add it to the perimeter. I'm going on, oh well, it's been over two months since my last retwist, so I have a lot of new growth. So, you just massage. You wanna give yourself a really good massage. And there you go. Your locks are moisturized, they're healthy, they're not really dry, they're not stripping, because we are trying to avoid dry locks, right? So yeah, I'm actually gonna put back in my style, because I really love that style. I don't know what it is, but I've been rocking this style and I just love it, so. Easy peasy. It's not the same as the other one, but that's okay. There you have it. We want to keep a healthy head full of locks, and it is possible to be a swimmer with locks or loose natural hair and long, healthy natural hair. First thing, make sure that you are protecting your locks at all costs. Moisturize before you go to the pool and cover your locks with a swim cap. Next, you want to make sure that you are shampooing your hair. Rinse before you shampoo, you shampoo and you rinse very well after. Number three, rinse well, okay? Rinsing should be longer than anything else. Make sure that you are taking the time to rinse your locks. Number four, make sure that you are moisturizing after you rinse your locks. And I really hope that you guys found these tips very useful. These tips are incredibly useful for me. I am a black woman with locks who loves to swim, who can swim and who enjoys swimming more than anything. And I can and I will continue to maintain a healthy head of locks. And if I can, so can you. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, have fun swimming.